guys, welcome back to another video here on Chemo 365. So in the last video we saw that going from a pistol length barrel to a rifle increases your velocity by quite a bit. But my next question is, how much more penetration can that give you? Now I don't have any fancy ballistics gel, but I do have a ream of paper back there. So let's repeat the test that we did the last time. We'll go 1022 and 2245 and Glock 45 and the AR9 I got from Hardened Arms. Let's see what kind of damage we can do. Okay, first up, Ruger 2245. All right, next up, Ruger 1022 takedown. All right, next up is going to be the Glock 45 9mm. Let's see if we can get it on the box. All right, let's get the AR9 in here. All right, last shots. Here's the AR9 from Hardened Arms. All right, we got two on it. Let's get it home and check them out. Let's start from this corner here. Let's kind of cut our way through. All right, so there's a 2245 again, 1022 there on the back of the ream. No penetration here. So let's crack it open and uh, go piece by piece here and see just how far it went. Whoop. Feel something grabbing a little bit. Something, oh, there's a little bit of a bump here. I see more. Okay, there it is. All right, guys, that's what's left of the 1022 bullet. Oh, I feel it right. Actually, there's a, there's some lead. You can see it right here. I want to come on. Oh, there it is. All right. And that's what's left over of the 2245 bullet. All right, just taking a closer look at what's left of the lead bullets from the 22 LR rounds. Pretty interesting what can happen to lead when it smashes into just paper. So if you are in danger of being shot by a 22 LR round, just get 500 sheets of paper and you will be protected. All right, let's go over these results over here. So both of them went through 210 sheets. That's what's on this side. Now what you get with 130 more 0.5 feet per second is the rifle went through 67 more sheets again the 2245 was 1071.4 the 1022 which was a rifle was 1201.9 the difference is the 130.5 and it went through 67 more sheets so if you want to see what 210 sheets looks like okay they both went through that much paper and then the 1022 rifle went through that much more. Now, before getting into the results from the 9mm shoot, I had a few people ask me some questions about this AR9 that Hardened Arms sent me. Check out the muzzle device on that, it's like something from Star Trek. This is a beautiful AR9, so if you're in the market for AR9 or if you just wanted more information on this guy, this review is coming out on Sunday. Okay, here is the two ream pack that the two 9mm rounds went through. The Glock 45 is on that side. And the AR9 from Hardened Arms that we just saw, again, that review is coming out on Sunday, is on that side. Now, both of these reams, just like in the first test, are 500 sheets deep. Let me flip this around to see if I got any penetration out of the back. Nope. So I'm just going to cut it open and let's see how much paper they both went through. All right, let's flip this baby over and peel it open. Let's see what we got. Oh, I see penetration on this side, at least through 500 sheets. And that's got to be the AR9 round because the Glock 45 is going to be up here. So the AR9 went through all 500 sheets. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's a little bump here. So you can maybe, maybe if I run my finger over, you can see how it's kind of a little bit of a bulge there. That's got to be the Glock 45 round. Let's open it up and see just how far the Glock 45 went through 500 sheets. All right, now that we got that all peeled back, what we're looking at here is that's the exit wound 
from the AR9 from Hardened Arms. The Glock 45 round should be somewhere on this side. So I'm going to start peeling it back. Peeling it back. Okay, we're getting close enough, so I got to go sheet by sheet to see where it tears. Let me kind of see. Nope, nothing there. Not quite. No. Nope. Ah. Yeah, that one's got it. Okay. Let me see if I can get this. Check that out. Let's see if I can get that out. Watch out for sharp edges. It's got the jacket still on there. Man, I'm telling you, it's really cool to think, again, that just pieces of paper that are kind of put close together. And look what they can do to just a lead bullet, a jacketed lead bullet. Cool, man. Okie dokie. Here is the second ream of 500. So the AR9 cleared the first 500. Let me see how close I can get that for you guys right there. There it is. So let's cut it open and see how deep it penetrated. Oh. All right. Oh, I guess we'll go that route. All right, so there's still a tear there. Okay. Oh, all right, we're 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 getting closer. I think I got it now. Easy, watch it. All right. And that is what the lead looks like from the AR-9. All right, that should do it. All right, so let's count these up and see how much more of the second 500 ream it went through. There is one last look at the two projectiles that were fired out of the two firearms. Glock 45 on that side, AR-9 on that side. What? Isn't that cool? Anyway, get that out of the way. So the Glock 45 made it through 460 sheets of paper. If you want to know what that looks like, there it is right there. That's a lot of paper. And of course, with the increase in velocity, the Hardened Arms AR-9 made it through a total of 690 sheets. Now, when we look at the difference between the Glock 45 and the AR-9, the difference was 257.8 feet per second. And what does that mean? It got us through 190 more sheets of paper. So now we've got all these wonderful points of data. We got this paper penetration test. What's the big deal, right? What is it worth? And actually, it's not really worth a lot when you think about it, right? It's not ballistics gel, it's just pieces of paper. It doesn't give you any data as to what it's gonna do when it hits the human body, right? When a projectile hits the human body, it's not gonna react like a piece of paper. So what is it all worth? Well, in the bigger picture, it shows that when you go from a shorter barrel to a longer barrel, you pick up velocity and better penetration. And remember, we went from like a five and a half inch barrel to like a 16.5 inch barrel. It's, it's a lot you're picking up there. So what we're not talking about is those little tiny steps, right? like 4.25 to 4.28, or even if you start extending it past 18 inches, because once you hit a certain length, you're gonna stop getting velocity and you're actually gonna end up losing velocity if you make it too long. So again, the bigger picture is shorter barrel, slower velocity. Increase in barrel length, you're gonna get more velocity and better penetration. So guys, that's the ending of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to Chemo365, please do. And remember, I'll catch you guys later.